Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm about 30 minutes away from starting evening chores. It's uh, Tuesday afternoon. You know, I don't, ever th I don't ever think that I showed the horses. I don't believe I did. There's four of them. This one here was born last July. The first ever newborn horse on the history of this farm. This guy right here. I'm pretty sure you can tell his mama. Boy, he got big in a year. He or she, I, I'll be honest with you. I, this sounds awful. I, I really don't pay attention to the horse as much. I'm not really a horse person. I like them. Um, I think they're nice to have around, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Okay, uh, I don't think it's ever been, I haven't made a video for over 48 hours. Um, I think it's been three or four months since I've done that. Uh, didn't do it intentionally. Uh, I made that little video there Sunday morning. And then uh, yesterday, I kind of I kind of minded my business all day yesterday, which was Labor Day. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm very ashamed of myself from not making a video or two from hauling some straw bales. Uh, it was pretty neat. I had the big red wagon. I was hauling 18 at a time. It was a pretty neat sight. A little stupid and dangerous going down the road, but I'm here to tell you there wasn't one bit of traffic whatsoever. So I, I did what I did. This is not even half of them. Um, <clears throat> we are not confident with... They're dry, okay? They are. But we just put these in here to see how they react. Um, you got to watch that storing round bales in a building the rest of them are uh out down by the uh across the road and down by the uh, round bale hill <clears throat> kind of drying out for a little bit um anyway yeah that's what i did yesterday i kept busy all day on sunday um yesterday i i had a great day i kept busy all day long uh, basically hauling straw bales and some other stuff. I had a bunch of other odds and ends to do, but I just had a, I made it a nice, just a nice labor day, <clears throat> but I was working. Uh, and then I kind of, I celebrated labor day last evening with some, uh, with some friends. So it, it was nice, but here we are today. Um, we are in crunch time. I am. It is the first week of September. There's a bunch of things that are going on right now. I'm probably going to be moving all over the place on this video. Just try and make sense. I'm not great at explaining a lot of things here. Number one, I'm going to get calves tomorrow morning. It is my last group of calves for this year. I have to pull the plug according to our our timeline in weather. What I'm trying to tell you is these calves that I'm getting tomorrow, they're going to get weaned off around November 1st, first week in November. Well, you know, I don't have a whole lot of heated, uh, my stock tanks aren't heated. Guys, we have to play the game with the weather here. Long story short, I'm going to spray all the details. You guys are smart. Um, According to our weather pattern here, tomorrow says pull the plug on new calves. <coughs> so I am. I think I'm going to get about five, six, or seven tomorrow morning. And uh, that's it. So what I did today is I threw out 14 little steers. I'm doing some stuff right now that I really don't care to be doing. But it's just the nature of the beast. It's what I've got going. Like that guy right there in particular. I threw him out in the steer lot. He barely has any business being in the steer lot right now. I'm going to keep a real good eye on him. And we'll see how he reacts. Um, this pen is empty for one major reason. We need to catch and corral the uh, four 
there's four crosses that are left out here and they need to be separated from the steer lot, the Holstein steer lot. <clears throat> I got some fresh hay out there this morning. Um, they're doing okay. They're going to get grain here in about 30 minutes. These new ones, when they get kicked in here, they absolutely love those mineral blocks. But, uh, yeah. So that pen got emptied. The lean-to, the lean-to off the barn, there were seven steers in there, little steers. They got thrown in here as well. I've got a free pens up. I got a lot of weaning off of calves I need to do. Uh, I'm going to show you the group that's going to be weaned off, if not tonight, tomorrow. The reason I'm emptying these pens is because these four super hutch pens here, they're at capacity, they're full, and they're going to stay that way for a while yet. I'm not interrupting them. <coughs> so. These four guys here, and these three guys here are getting weaned off tonight or tomorrow mid-morning. And I am going to shove them down to the, uh, the lean-to off the barn. Biggest reason for that is number one, that they're ready. They have hit their day. In fact, they're, uh, you know, if you keep up with my videos, I'm at a 50 day rule, kind of, sorta. <clears throat> These guys are actually at about 55 days. They've done well. They've been raised in these pens since day one. I had no problems. They've done well. Um, I'd like to see them a little bit rougher. To be honest, I, I, if you can make any sense of that, but they're good, they're healthy, uh, they're they're pretty nice and bulky for the most part. Um, yeah, so these boys are ready. I feel bad for you guys here in just a little bit, but whatever. And I'm doing that because they need to be weaned off, but also because the crosses that need to be caught in the overflow pen, the three heifers, there's two steers and three heifers. Those crosses, which are very nice animals, were, uh, it was kind of a, a trade agreement this past winter <clears throat> for some hay. Um, the heifers are going in here for at least a, a couple of months um, for breeding, or should I say non-breeding reasons. <clears throat> we'll leave it at that. So, yeah. Um, it's, about, it's about it. I say we're in crunch mode here. I, I don't know if that's correct, but there's just a lot of, a lot of irky jerking around right now. I'm doing a lot of things I don't care to, but it's just whatever. Uh, this evening after chores, I got to simply set up about five, six, or seven uh, hutches and pens. It'll be the last ones for the year. These guys are all doing pretty fair for the most part. Um, I've had a couple of uh, scour problems here, but they're being treated with uh, what I use, which is Decox M <clears throat> and sulfur tablets if needed. And uh, yeah, the weather's been fair for the most part. Um, yeah, we just had some new ones get a shock there. It's been fair for the most part. Uh, we've escaped all the rain they've called for thus far today. The sky has been uh, actually almost impressive. We've escaped all the rain except for a small little sprinkle. 
Uh, but tomorrow we're supposed to get guaranteed rain and I, I've heard rumor a healthy amount. Go figure. But the other part about being in crunch mode is this. After tomorrow, starting Friday, we have what looks to be a six or seven day run of pure sunshine. It's not going to be real warm. In fact, from what I've seen, the, the biggest high that we have in those six, seven days is 71 degrees. <coughs> so here's the deal. We're starting to put a game plan together now to finish off our year those six, seven days of sunshine. All straw picked up and baled. The rest of my baleage done. Actually, I think I'm done with baleage because the other grassy field I wanted to do in the baleage, we're really wanting to go after small squares with that according to the weather pattern. And uh, we're looking to get it all done in a six or seven day swing. It has to, it's that time of year. Uh, there's no more monkeying around. Uh, this weather is unbelievable. Uh, I mean, you're, you're wearing jackets at night now. Just, to, this is the craziest year of weather I have ever seen, ever. And I hear a lot of people that are in their 60s, 70s, and 80s that say the damn, same damn thing. Excuse the D word. But uh, that's about it here, guys. I gotta start chores in a little bit, and uh, I gotta keep busy tonight with a couple little odds and ends. Just wanted to check in. Hasn't been a video for a couple of days. There's some pretty good stuff coming up, a lot of actions being made. I can promise you some decent videos are going to be coming in, uh, coming on the channel here one way or another. Uh, some baling, square baling, some round baling, some raking. Uh, I'd like to get in another video or two of the Pro Cart Double Windrow New Holland Rake, <clears throat> which I failed to make some decent videos on that. We are very happy with that rake. Um, and uh, yeah, whatever else I can come up with. So just a nice little update and uh, hope everybody's having a good day, good start of the week, even though it's Tuesday. And uh, hope everybody had a good Labor Day weekend. All right, talk to you sooner than later.